Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be doing a May reset video. I feel like, I don't know why my my reset videos, like especially my last video seemed to be quite popular. And I would be really interested in the comments, like to you guys to say what, like why do you like reset videos? And if there's anything that you would like wanna see. I'm just really interested. I guess everybody loves the idea of just kind of that new start. And that's how I like to view a new month is like a new, fresh page in a notebook ready to achieve your goals and you know just start afresh if you had a bad month the month before it's like a chance to work on it again and that's what I love I love like new years when you've got that refresher vibe and I almost think every Monday is an opportunity for a new week and getting better than you did the previous week do you know what I mean or even every day is a new day you can start afresh anytime so I've got my tea I'm having a, a biscuit tea which is my favorite tea with one sweetener and milk in my reset videos I like to follow a normal protocol which is what went well last month month or things that I want to prove on from last month and then I don't want to spend too much time on last month I want to talk more about this month and what are my goals for this month so I'm just going to get right into it so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is how I've got this new method I used to plan my life in so many different platforms so I had like notion which was more of like a general like life goals planner and like what I want to do then I'd have my google calendar which is like where I put everything and schedule my day but then I'd also have a physical diary where I would put like my to-do list for the day and the monthly goals and then I'd also have this notebook that I would write write down like my calories and I would also do like make notes and general ideas and I was like girlfriend you're you've got too many notebooks happening and one thing that I found is making a list even if it's on the notes app on your phone or if it's me if it's something online it is never as effective and you never want to do it as much as you want to do a physical note list and what I actually realized was when I actually just write in my notepad the to-do list for the day so I literally write this to-do list like this every single day and it has everything that I want to do on there and it literally has like all my work activity that I want to do anything that I need to do for work but I'll also throw in like you know if I need to pick up a delivery or if I need to do anything like kind of personal as well I'll throw that in there and then I just find it so motivating to run through the list each day and just be like right that's done on to the next on to the next there is something about having a physical notepad planner and I, I was just making my life so much more difficult because I had this planner that was writing down like my calories and just general notes and then I have my other diary and I was like no just keep it simple have your notepad and every morning I do the same thing every day I make a to-do list for the day and then I make a to-do list Sorry, and then I make a sheet for my calories because I, I do my calorie counting. So I just find that that was a really good thing that I started in, in April and it made me so much more productive in the month instead of having a bit of a scattergun kind of approach. I was much more focused just by using, and I get these from Costco, they're amazing. They're A5 dot and eight pads. I think they're called the Pucker Pad and you can get a big pack in Costco for like, I think it's like 10 quid and you get like seven and I use them so much. And then next up that was really good in April is I did an average of 12,000 steps a day. Can you believe that? So I know why it was. I know, I know, I know. It's because I did a few really long walks. Like I did the walk to Bath. So for March it was 9,575 and then in April 2,130 for average steps so I'm really proud of that and I want to try and at least get near it for May as well keep it up but it might be tricky with the whole thing but I was watching a YouTube video the other day and it was just a woman that's talked about how she lost a lot of weight from walking and one of the things she said was that she puts on high tempo music she walks for an hour but she really like pumps her arms and it gets her to walk a lot quicker so what I've been trying to do is when I go on my walks try and pump my arms a little bit more and it actually does help me to go quicker and then if you walk quicker you'll do more steps because you could be like or oh, add another street in just get get a couple more thousand or whatever, then that can really help you, especially with the weather being nicer in these summery months. That was really good. Another thing that was really, really good is I started my Hot Girl Summer Glow Up Challenge, which I did a separate video on. So if you wanna go and see that challenge video, um, I can talk about that. I talk about it in that video, um, but essentially it's 15 minutes of manifesting or gratitude a day, three tumblers of water a day, um, eating in a calorie deficit, working out five times a week and doing eight to ten thousand steps a day and that's five on my 
challenge then i've also put down as a positive thing is just being active with sam like we went and played golf the other day and it was so amazing because you like in a beautiful setting um he was teaching me to play golf my arms are still killing me though who would have thought golf would be that um sore but oh my arms are still killing me i think this because they've been stretched in like a really weird way um so yeah still hurting from the golf and just being like doing lots of walks and i've obviously want to do a lot more of that this month as well like and um but that that is something that i think is great like if you can be active with your partner the perfect idea of like a saturday is like waking up early going and getting a coffee and getting some steps in and then doing something like active and then maybe having like a later lunch maybe a few drinks but i love the concept of like feeling like you've earned it so whether it be like a round of golf or a really long walk somewhere or if you're really into like outdoor activities i'm not really into that kind of thing but maybe in the future i will be because i do love that feeling of like earning you know those indulgences i hate the idea of just like waking up doing like 1000 steps for the whole day and you just spent the whole day drinking and um, eating no it's not good but obviously i don't know if you know if you follow me on instagram and tiktok you will probably know that my absolute worst point in the month of april i i basically got a, a kidney infection and it really slowed me down it really did because i had like the worst back pain i felt nauseous i really didn't want to work out so i did fall off of my glow up challenge but what i'm doing is i'm restarting the challenge from today because i did get like seven eight days in but i thought to myself do you know what it's only a week start again from now and then you can kind of do it in full and hopefully i don't get any more like health issues but i'm going to do a separate video which is like a an overview on how i'm getting on with the summer glow up challenge so stay tuned for that but yeah this the kidney infection really screwed me to be honest then um now i thought i'd move on quickly to my may goals and my plans for resetting the month of may um the first thing i want to do is just try and run run down i know it's like quite weird but i want to get better at actually using all the food that i buy so i've got in my cupboard like so many different open packets of like pasta and rice or i've bought like random things one day like oh i need these beans i'm going to make a chili with it and i just want to run down in the month because it's healthy and it's cost effective and i want to just make a bit more minimalism in my kitchen so i'm going to just try and be as creative as possible and use all the things up in um the house and not just keep buying for the sake of like oh well i saw this on pinterest i want to try and make this recipe i can do that once i've kind of run down the food and stuff and made a bit more space for it obviously as of today getting back on my hot girl summer challenge which i will keep you updated about which obviously embraces all of that like healthy eating and stuff like that i was talking to my friend who's a teacher and she was saying about like getting healthy and stuff and i was like realistically it's the first of may now you've got two full months before the summer holidays start which is when like you know everyone's going to be out and wearing like their bikinis or going on summer holidays or being out in shorts and stuff so you know if you knuckle down for two months that's so much time you can make such a difference in that time so even though it's still summery now you've still got time to kind of get into it obviously continuing on with my workouts i'm doing the swan by carolina workout love it 20 pound a month it's like pilates and yoga combined do you know what it's weird but i've actually got the golf bug i went to play golf with sam i love it because you get steps in it's active you can chat and um there's quite a good satisfaction factor when you're doing it well if you're not doing it well i think it's not this it's not that way um then in terms of like my vibes for like manifesting and positive gratitude and all that stuff um obviously what what i found that my hot girl summer glow up challenge has done is it made me more conscious of consuming positive content so before it would be like the odd time i'd watch like a youtube video but it's part of my challenge now to consume positivity every day so when i'm on a walk or like my getting my morning coffee instead of just putting on the first podcast i actually think to myself oh listen to a positive uh, law of attraction podcast or when i'm getting ready for the day instead of just putting on any old show i'll be like oh i'll watch this 10 minute positivity video on youtube and just generally i think it's helping me to just like 
because it's so easy with law of attraction and positivity to like fall off the wagon because if something doesn't go right your go-to is to just be negative or find yourself you know starting to get down on yourself whereas if you constantly keep it on top of it it's like a continuing education you really have to keep on with your revision 100% otherwise you will just get out of the habit and then my final goal for the month of May is I really want to start getting into tapping which is this new kind of technique well it's not new but I've learned about it recently where you basically do like tapping on certain points so it's like here 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 I think I think I'm getting this right and then here and you just do it again and again for longer than that but you think of like what you want to happen or if you're anxious about something it can literally be amazing if like you're scared about a driving test or something like that I need to learn more about it but that is my goal for the month of May to learn more about it and I will update you next month. Anyway, so that was everything from my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do comment below your goals that you're setting for yourself for the month of May and how you're going to plan to reset. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. It's yeah, at rubykenwood underscore. And yeah, have a good week and I'll see you guys in my next video.